What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look into the Hanna Marine Monitor. So before we get into the marine monitor, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the tank. So the video where I used the GFO and my phosphates was at 0.71, which is like incredibly high for that tank or any tank, that's pretty darn high. Um, as of today, what well, it's been like three weeks and it has come down to 0.07. So pretty much almost perfect where we want it. Um, it'll probably come down some, so now I won't have to worry about like feeding a little heavy. I'll probably go back to feeding some pellets and then like frozen back and forth and switch it back and forth. So, so that is fantastic. Um, also, I did switch over to the Aqua Forest Reef Salt. So I was gonna do a whole video on how to do that, but I felt like that would have been like that. It wouldn't be that interesting to show you water changes. So what I did was throughout one week, you probably could do a longer in like a longer time time span, but I did it in one week. So I did five gallon water changes every, pretty much every day for like three days. Yeah, three days straight I did like five gallon. And on the fourth day I did a 20% water change. So majority of that water is completely aquaforest reef salt, hopefully. But from the par parameters, I think it is because my alkalinity was under seven. It was like 6.5, which is like super low. And I checked it today and it's at 7.1. So it's a whole lot better. So I'm gonna do another, my routine water change this week and we'll see what the alkalinity is at. But 7.1 is way better than 6.5. So I'm happy with that. All right, so I already set this up because I, I wasn't sure like how to set it up or if it was gonna be like difficult, but it was very simple. Um, so in the box you get your uh, actual monitor with uh, two probes. So the salinity probe, it doubles for the temperature probe. And then you get two high pH, two low pH solutions. Uh, and then you get two packs of the salinity um, solution. So they give you enough just in case you mess up. Um, and then also two cleaning packets to clean the probes. So keep the extra solutions uh, in case you wanna like recalibrate it. That'll always be a good idea. So the salinity, it was reading like one point off. So I was trying to go for 1.025 and it was reading 1.24. And this thing, the Milwaukee thing that I use all the time, like this is the only thing I use really, this was reading 1.25 but the HANA checker was reading 1.24, right? So I'm like, okay, which one's off? Is it this or is it the HANA checker? Then I got out the old school refractometer and this is reading 1.24. So the, all these days, I've been off on my salinity. So right out the box, this thing is all right, enough talking, let's go check it out and see how it works. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. All right guys, so this is the marine monitor. Uh, it continuously checks your three parameters. I don't know, you'll see a little hourglass pop up here and um, it's just rechecking it. pH, salinity, and temperature. So you got power cable, your pH probe, and temperature and salinity. So how I got it is in here. It's very dangerous sticking the camera in here, but right there. And it comes with suction cups and you can just pop them onto the back to a flat surface and you are good to go. Just keep them submerged at all times. You have alarms you can set up on here where um, it'll tell you if like pH is off or salinity. And as far as setup, you, got, you can change your Temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You could change salinity to PPT or um, SG. Is that that's what it's called? Uh, what else? Backlight. You could change the colors off on. Uh, key beeps. You could turn it on off. Alarms and pH high. So you could change all that. These are all your like alarms when it should go on and off. Um, K2 
calibration, super simple. So it says according to like um, the instructions, before you plug plug the power cord on, you're supposed to put all these on and then plug it. It's very simple to calibrate. So you would hit calibrate. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want it to like recalibrate on me. So hit calibrate and then there'll be it'll pop up pH and then salinity and then it'll tell you to put both probes, which I found that weird because it says put both temperature and the salinity and the pH, which is only two probes, into the solution. So I just followed the directions and it worked out. So I'll go put it in, it'll do a little um, calibrating, it takes like a few seconds, and then I'll tell you put in the other solution, and then same thing with the salinity. And then it's just ready to go. So there you have it guys. Um, either if you get one of these, if you're interested in one of these, you can stick it to your mixing station or stick it on your tank and if you want like super simple reefing. Um, I got everything connected to a power brick. I could turn on and off, turn off the heater, and yeah, this is uh, it's pretty neat. It looks pretty cool too. The only thing I was concerned when I got it, and I seen some other videos, it was the same thing. I don't know if it was like a packaging issue. The pH probe comes in this little tube jar to keep it like in the fluid, and that thing was like, I think it leaked out, and it was just like crusty little stuff all over the tube, and. Um, there's nothing in the little jar. So I didn't know if that was gonna affect it. So I just like messaged Hannah uh, Instruments on Instagram and they responded pretty quick. And they said uh, it shouldn't be an issue, but if it does, so like reach out. But it worked out, everything is running fine and um, there's no issues with that. All right, so who is the Marine Monitor for? Um, I would say anyone that wants it on their mixing station to like match pH for their tank and what they're mixing, and also for people that don't want like an Apex or the GHL and go crazy with all that stuff. And you simply want to attach this to your actual tank and just have a monitor for, a steady monitor for your pH, temperature, and salinity. So if you don't want all the high tech gadgets and you just want to see what your tank is at at all times, then this would be a way to go. I mean. If I didn't get the hydros, um, I would definitely have gotten, I would have just put this on and just call it a day because this thing, it doesn't get more simple than this. And this is like the three major things you want to be checking at all times. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys on the next round.